Hello, good morning. Happy Good Friday. Here we are, Easter. Boom. We knew it was going to happen fast, and man, did it happen fast. It's kind of sad. We're just getting started in spring. Some people still have snow. And we're already doing Easter. Man, oh man, oh man. Well, I hope everybody has a nice Easter weekend. Um, let's see, what, what is going on? Hello, Denise. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Jen. Hello, Pamela. Oh, I haven't made Pamela blue. Let me, let me get in here. And then that way, in case anybody else isn't blue, I can get them. Let's see. Oh, I just need one more person to comment so I can get past that little, the little symbol down there in the chat because I can't click on them. Um, so here, let me put in a comment. There we go. Now I can get to, I can get to Pamela now. All right. And then I'll, I'll grab anybody else who doesn't happen to be blue. So one of the reasons why I have anybody blue and everybody blue uh, is one, you can't get timed out, which is real important because it is so easy to hit the wrong button, um, especially if you're on your phone. It is super easy to hit the wrong button. And if everybody's blue, then you can't time them out accidentally. So that is really, really helpful. Uh, the other reason is you can click on anyone's comment. Um, if you're on your phone, I think you just click on the comment. Um, if you are on your laptop at the end of the comment, there are three little buttons or three little dots. If you click on those, uh, what happens is you get a whole little menu of options. But one of those options is to go over and um, subscribe. You can click on somebody, it'll take you to their channel and you can subscribe to their channel. So that is a great way to make sure, hello, Lori, uh, that you are subscribed to Blue Flamingo Mercantile, Denise's Magical Emporium, Nails, Jamie B, Reseller, Jen Eads. Uh, these are all people. Who else is in here? Uh, Tracy. You know, Tracy, I don't know if I know if you have content on your YouTube channel, but you can check. You can click on her name. It'll take you to her channel. You can see what she's got going over there. So yeah, so it's a super easy way to go ahead and subscribe to everybody's YouTube channel who's in the chat. And people will think, oh, I don't have a YouTube channel. Yeah, you do. If you have a YouTube account, you have a YouTube channel. Now, you may not have content on it, but you do have a YouTube channel. So, you know, you never know. You just might be out someday and go, you know what? This is really cool. I'm going to make a 15 second short. Boom. And there you go. You have content on your channel. It's easy. It's really easy. Um, but yeah, that's a couple of the reasons why I have so many and everybody blue. If I know who you are, yeah, there's a good chance you're blue. And um, yeah, yeah. So super, super cool. So you can't get timed out and you can subscribe to anybody's channel. It's as easy as that. And um, and yeah, and it's actually pretty easy to put a short out there. Um, I, like I, I need to start doing that again, but I've got a really, really, really big project here that I am currently working on at home. Um, once I get it a little more under control and wrangled in, then I'll let you guys know kind of what's going on. But, um, but yeah, that's kind of 
where my spare time, even 15 seconds worth of spare time <laughs> is spent. Hello, Jane. Nice to see you. Um, but um, I'll let you guys know, 7 p.m. tonight is the Sue Spezio Show. Uh, so if you are available tonight, stop by, say hi to myself and um, Aaron Proctor and Mary from Ancestral Beginnings. Um, she'll be joining us tonight. That's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, for my Saturday late night sale, uh, that's going to be at 10 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to be having Kathy Picasso Cat join me. Uh, so that is going to be awesome. Um, oh, I have not checked today to make sure that she is still at a thousand. Oh, oh. So yeah, yeah. Hoping, hoping she's still at a thousand by the time Saturday comes along. Um, but yeah, Pamela, what time zone are you in? <laughs> and, uh, and then I can uh, I can let you know what uh, what what time in what time zone. Um, but that's what I have coming up. And um, oh, do I get enough lotion in? No, I still don't think three 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 bits of lotion. All right. So uh, so the Sue Spezio show is on at six p.m. tonight in the central time zone. So 6 p.m. tonight is the Sue Spezio show. And on Saturday, my late night sale starts at 9 p.m. Um, central time. Um, so hope that, hope that helps. <laughs> but yeah, if you need, if you need time zone adjustment, just let me know because I'm on, I'm on the West Coast. So my my brain is always on Pacific time, so I do have to calculate to get everybody um, to get everybody going uh, on their time zones <laughs> because it's eight thirty in the morning my time, and the Sue Spezio star show starts at four, and my late night Saturday sale well that starts at seven. I know I kind of cheat because I'm on the West Coast. <laughs> it's really not late night. <laughs> Um, it ends up being late night by the time we're done, but when I start, it's not quite, not quite late night. Um, oh, Poppy, nice, nice. I'm so glad you were talking to your sister. I hope she's doing well. Um, all right, so I am going to go, I've got, I got a lot of goodies today. And I am going to start off with some free items now. There are condition issues with these items, which is why they're going to be free if someone is interested in maybe doing a little repair or just not looking at the little bit of damage. Um, up first is a metal cross. So it does have a little loop here so you can hang it. Hang it. What is wrong with this? Well, it's missing one of its little pearl beads right here. And oh, over here, it's missing a rhinestone. So just want to let you know, there's, that's the condition issue. So it's going to be free because of that. Uh, let's just put in a cross. If you would like the metal cross, here is the back. Uh, it is, oh, let me get my ruler out. Uh, six and a half inches long. So cross, if you would like the cross and, um, oh, Mary Ellen is going to take the cross. Excellent. All right, next item that is going to be a free item, because again, condition issue, is this little wooden house. Now, right here in the chimney, yep, something broke off. Now, don't know who made this or where it is from, but it is cute, and we'll go house. 
house if you would like to claim the little wooden house with the little chip on it. And oh, just in case you're wondering how tall that is, uh, three inches tall. And if no one's interested, that's fine. We will bring that back for the speed round, see if there's any takers. And then I have a Sandicast little mouse. So he's got a little chip on his ear. Uh, this is one of the few ones that is actually signed. So Sonara Brew is the signature on it. Let me show the whole little mouse. So this is a Sandicast little figurine. You know, there's a couple little chips, yep, here and there. But there is a little bit of the ear missing. So we'll go mouse. Mouse, if someone would like to claim the mouse. But yeah, interesting. That's one of the few that is signed. All right. And if there are no takers, that's okay. If you think about them, um, you want to claim one of those later, just let me know. And we will go ahead and get started with $1 items for the sale. And I've got a ring to start off with. And, oh, Mary Ellen is going to take the mouse. All right. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Um, all right. This ring is a size five. And it is a band ring. It has a little bit of a design on it. Let me see. Oops, what have I got? A hair, a loose hair there. Let me turn it this way so you can see it has kind of a wave pattern to it. So this one is $1 and it is a size 5. Okay, next ring is a size six. Oh, I think it's a size six. And it has kind of an opening on it. So you may be able to adjust that a bit. And the rest of the design, nice little, um, almost like a little herringbone type design. But you could wear that to the front. You could wear that to the back. You could have that be a little adjustable. But it is currently at a size 6. And that one is $1. Okay, next ring. This one looks kind of small. Yep, it's a size 6 also. And it is a cute little diamond pattern with a little clear rhinestone in it. Hi, Randy. Yeah, it is kind of like a wreath. Oops, this one is a size six. So size six, little diamond shape, almost like a little woven pattern with a clear rhinestone in the center. Okay, next ring is also silver tone, also a size six. And this one has a little black center to it. So that one is a size six. Nice thin band. All right, now the last $1 ring 
I have is a size seven and a quarter. And it has like a little wave pattern to it, but it is full of uh, clear rhinestones. So that does cover about half of the ring with the little clear rhinestones. And then the rest of the ring is just a solid band. So that one is a seven and a quarter. And hello, Ann Murphy. Ann Murphy is in for that one. And we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to N. Murphy. Thank you. All right. I've got a couple of $1 earrings also. Oops. These are all twisted up here. There we go. Hi, Sarah Lee. Uh, so these earrings, kind of a little bit like a Celtic knot. It is just in a round um, circle, almost like little heart-shaped connected knots. And here, let me hold that one up. Uh, it is about one inch across here. So one inch across, and those earrings are $1.00. Okay, next earrings are these little oval like pretzels. <laughs> yeah, they do look like pretzels, don't they? <laughs> Hello, Johnny. Oh, so these ones have, um, I don't know, they kind of remind me of like those little fern plumes that come out, like when a, a fern fern leaf is kind of unraveling. It kind of looks like, like one of these little offshoots. So a pretty slightly filigree detailing. And that is a, a nice silver tone earring. All right. So those items, I will be bringing those back for the speed round. Uh, but I do have a couple other $1 items. Um, now, this one doesn't have like an official hanger to it. Or does it? Nope, that one's, I kind of thought that was, but that's just a twist. Uh, but it kind of looks like a little sun catcher. Has these pretty clear beads on it. So if you did put that in the sunlight, you'd probably get some little prisms reflecting off of it. So uh, this little sun catcher, $1. All right. And then I've got one more $1 item. Oh, Pamela is going to take the sun catcher. No, Randy, it looks nothing like that. Nice try. Nice try. No. <laughs> no, we're not going there. Oh, but we are counting. It, it looks like a flower. All right, a flower. <laughs> I'm going with flower on that one. And going once. Hi, Barb. Going twice. And <laughs> sold to Pamela. <laughs> yeah, or a dream catcher. Yes, yes. Much better than the other. <laughs> oh. uh, all right. Last $1 item is this cute little dish that says, I love you a bunch with a little uh, cluster of grapes. 
Made in China Creative Co-op. So could be a nice little spoon rest. Um, or if you have a wine bar, Denise, don't even start. You are evil, Denise. You're evil. Do not start. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Denise. <laughs> oh, um, so yeah, if you have a wine bar, this could be a nice little tray to put your cork on, um, rest your corkscrew on. <laughs> but uh, this little dish is a four inches, so a four inch square. And that one, one dollar. All right. Um, let's see. We are going to go up to two dollar items. I didn't blame it on Randy, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, so for two dollars. I have a, ooh, is that, no, I'm going to go seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter on this ring. Let me write that down. So size seven and a quarter. And, oh, Mary Ellen, you take the little tray. All right. Thank you, Mary Ellen. And we've got N. Murphy in for uh, this one. It is green. So it is a nice dark green. Randy is in for three. And this one is seven and a quarter. And I'll kind of show the design all around. It kind of looks like the little hands of the um clada ring like these are like the little hands that are holding it and then you have that pretty green center and murphy is out thank you and we will count that down for randy going once going twice And sold to um, Randy. Thank you. All right. Next ring. Oops. Let me get my $2 start in here. Uh, this one is also seven and a quarter. And this one is tan with little white dots on it. So seven and a quarter. Nice oval shape. And Randy is in for two. Thank you, Randy. Trying to see, it almost looks like those are little roses. Yeah, I think that is like a little rose on the side. That's pretty. All right. Well, we will count that down for Randy. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Randy. Thank you. Okay, next ring is a size seven. And it is a little pink heart shape. So size seven. And that is kind of a pinkish color. Maybe a little peachy. A little open design on the sides. 
and a cute little heart shape. And that one is a size seven. All right, next one is a size six. So it's a purple one. And this one is a size six oval shape, a little open design on the side. And Randy is in for this one. Oh, actually, the whole band has a nice little open design to it. And we will count that one down for Randy. Going once, going twice. And sold to Randy, thank you. Okay, I've got one more in that kind of a style. And it is a seven and a quarter. And this little light green. And that is seven and a quarter. Little marquee shaped, light green. Hi, Cindy. And Randy is in for that one. Thank you, Randy. And we will count that down. Going once, going twice. And sold to Randy, thank you. Okay, uh, oh, a couple more rings. Oh, is this one that small? All right, this is a very small one. It's a size five. Ooh, yeah, just maybe, maybe even a little, a little smidge snug on a size five. And it's this beautiful red rhinestone ring, silver tone. One, two, three, four, five red rhinestones. Here is the band. But that is a that is a snug five. But you could wear that as a pinky ring. So that one is two dollars size five. Okay, then I've got one more $2 ring. This one is a seven and a quarter, but it is adjustable. So a seven and a quarter adjustable. And it is this pretty solitaire with some very small chips, clear chips on the side. And that solitaire does sit up a bit. Then I already forgot. Was that a seven and a quarter? I think that was. And Randy is in. Thank you, Randy. And N. Murphy is in for three. That one is a really pretty sparkly one. It picks up the light really nice. And I'm going to double check that size because, yep, already forgot. Yeah, I guess that's about a seven and a quarter. And we'll see if Randy would like to come in at four or higher. Randy is out. Thank you, Randy. And we will count that down for N. Murphy. 
So going once, going twice. And sold to N. Murphy. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. Hi, Gina. Okay, next I have a pair of earrings. Oops, we're going to go back to our $2 start. And I have this cute little pair of gold tone earrings. They have a clear, um, clear rhinestone flower and then these cute little pearl beads. Let's see. Yeah, a little more like this. They are post earrings. Now, I don't have metal backs for them. I do just have the little clear uh, plastic backs for these. But there you go. You can kind of see how they would be on. So $2 uh, gold tone with the clear flower and the little pearl beads. And those are $2. Okay, then I have I have blue ones. I know one of these days I'm going to be organized enough at seven in the morning to jump on to Gina's sale. <laughs> One of these days, Gina, that's my goal. Um, let's see. These are silver tone with these pretty blue. They're, um, they feel like they're glass. Yeah, I do think that these, they have a coolness to them. So yeah, I think these are glass. Very sparkly. Nicely done. I know, unfortunately, that's usually when I'm like brushing my teeth and changing the cat litter. <laughs> and <laughs> that's uh, my running around time. But I'll see if I can get the computer at least up and going and... Uh, and uh, can remember. Hello, Mark. So uh, these ones, uh, blue glass, and those are $2. Uh, then I have the same style in green. Hi, Angela. So here is the green glass. So same style but really pretty sparkly green. And these are $2. And, oh, I think I forgot to put, um, hi, Amy. Amy is in for the green ones. Thank you, Amy. And yes, yep, Amy, I've got you for the blue ones also. Hi, Lucinda. So we will count those down for Amy. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Amy. And the blue ones are sold to Amy. And I forgot to write these down, so I need to I need to add these. But I've got one more pair, and I'll call them purple, but they're really more um, kind of iridescent. But they're that same the same style, same. Um, yeah, I think these are glass also. They do have a silver back to them because they are very um, reflective of the color. You can see they're like color changing, always reflecting color. And we've got, oh, we've got Amy in first on that one. 
I see Jamie popped in also at two. But on my end, Amy just was a little quicker. And thank you, Jamie. And oh, Randy is coming in. And Barb, we've got Barb at four. But yeah, it's really pretty. You can see how it picks up different shades as the light hits it. And Amy is at six. Yeah, it's really pretty. You get like a little silver, a little blue, a little purple. Thank you, Randy. And we'll see if Barb would like to come in at seven or higher. Barb is at eight. Amy is at 10. Yeah, they are really pretty with the, the light hitting them. Trying to turn them so you can see them from all the different angles. And Barb is out. Thank you, Barb. And we will count those down for Amy. Going once, going twice. And sold to Amy. Thank you. Thank you, Barb. Uh, thank you, Randy. And thank you, Jamie. Okay, next up for $2 is this cute little watering can. Now the watering, oops, the watering can is resin. And then it does have all of these. Um, I think those might be glass. I can't quite tell if they're glass or plastic. Uh, they don't quite have a coolness, the same coolness to them. So very possible those are plastic, but cute little flowers. Something nice and sparkly. Put that in a windowsill or put that in with your plants and add a little sparkle. It is uh, about three and a half inches tall. And Lucinda is in for that one. Yeah, just something cute. Something really cute to just add a little sparkle, a little color to an area. And we will count that down for Lucinda. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Lucinda. Thank you. Um, all right. This is a really pretty piece. And something I thought could be nice. I know a lot of people like to do kind of Victorian little areas. And this kind of reminded me of like a little Victorian piece. It is on glass. And then this little metal piece is glued onto the glass. And then this is, I don't know if that's a transfer or probably a transfer, but you have the beautiful lady, like a little piece of wallpaper. And then it says, a daughter's love lives in your heart forever. And then it has the beautiful flowers. And the glass is uh, four and a half inches. So that one is $2. 
All right. Uh, next up, I have got a big group. Um, oh, no. Hang on. I got a couple more items before the big group. Okay. I've got a... Um, <laughs> I've got a little uh, ceramic egg cup. There is a, I guess, a signature on the bottom. So it looks like South American or Mexican pottery. So that one is $2 for the egg cup. Air plant holder. Um, Maybe you have a, um, a stone egg, a glass egg that needs a holder. These work for those too. These work really nice for those. Uh, so that one, $2. Then I have a little um, heart-shaped ceramic little trinket box. It does have felt on the bottom. And then the pretty flowers on the side and the flowers on top. So $2, little heart-shaped floral trinket box. Okay, then a Talavera ashtray so pink and i don't know i don't know what they're doing rodeo <laughs> i don't know <laughs> and randy is in for two Thank you, Randy. They they look like cowboys, don't they, Randy? <laughs> so we will count that down for Randy. Going once. Going twice. Ooh, excuse me. And sold to Randy. Thank you. Um, let's put that. There. Okay, now I have a big group. And this group is of the cherished teddies. So they are going to start at $2 each. And I'm going to start with some cupids. So the cute little cherished teddies. So the little, um, White wing Cupid, two dollars. Okay, then I have a Cupid with a bow and arrow. Okay, next is a Cupid with love letters. Looks like little chocolate love letters. Okay, next Cherish Teddy has some roses. Okay, next one is a little soldier dated 1996. Oh, he still has a hook on him. Let me get, we'll get rid of that hook. So 1996 Teddy, little soldier. Okay, next one is an angel. She's got a little halo. She's got a horn. She has her little angel wings. Okay, 
Okay, next one is a little Dutch girl. She's got her wooden shoes on. Okay, this one has little bamboo pajamas and a little panda bear. Okay, and then these kind of remind me a little more of like maybe Christmassy. She's baking little star cookies. This one has a little doll. Hey, this one has a candy cane. And then this one has a little reindeer. All right, so the Cherished Teddies are $2 each. And, oh, Barb is going to take the candy cane one. Thank you, Barb. Yep, and if anyone's interested in any of them, just shout it out. Okay, uh, we are going to go up to some $3 jewelry. Oops, did I get the three in there? I did. Okay. Okay, up next is a size eight and a half ring. Now, this one's got an interesting shape to it. And, oh, now that I get it up here, it looks a little more rose, almost rose gold. But I think it is just a gold tone or is it a rose gold hmm nope I think that might be I know sometimes with this lighting nope I'm going to say that that's rose gold okay so I think the next I think the next batch I have are actually rose gold and not gold tone all right, so let me make a note of that. And this was a size, I already forgot, eight something. Eight and a half. And so the shape of this one, you have the band down here, but then the flower kind of goes, it's not like the band is around the middle of the flower. So this one is a size eight and a half. And so it kind of sits up a little higher on your finger. It has pretty little blue rhinestones and then a clear band across there. So really pretty. Thank you, Lucinda. And that one is an eight and a half. I won't forget that size now. And we will count that down for Lucinda. Going once, going twice, and sold to Lucinda. Thank you. Right, rose gold tone. Yes, yes. All right, and then this one. Let me get it into the light. 
I think this one might be more of a rose gold tone than a gold tone. Yep, I think so. Uh, let's see what size this one is. It is a seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. And this one has a green center. Let me get that into the light so you can see the green center and the clear around it. Now this one also sets up a little higher on the setting. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lucinda. And we will count that down. Going once, going twice. And sold to Lucinda. Thank you. Okay, next one, also a rose gold tone, is uh, also a seven and a quarter. This one is multicolored. So you have a purple, red, pink, and green, plus a few clear on here. And this one also sets up higher. So a seven and a quarter. No, seven and three quarters. Sorry. Seven and three quarters. <laughs> Thank you, Lucinda. And going once, going twice. And sold to Lucinda. And I've got one more. I think this one is rose gold also. Uh, this one is a size nine. So size nine on this one. And it has all of these pretty large clear rhinestones on it very sparkly and that one is a size nine i'll show you how much is a little larger uh area that that one takes up but that one is a size nine All right, we will bring that one back. Uh, then I have a silver tone ring. This one is, I'm going to say seven and a half. Oh, Lucinda is going to take the clear one. Thank you, Lucinda. Going once, going twice. Sold to Lucinda. Thank you. And I think I said seven and a half on this one. Silver tone, seven and a half with a red center. It does have clear all around and a nice thin band. So this one is a seven and a half. Okay, uh, then a bracelet. So this is a stretchy bracelet and this has clear plastic 
Aurora Borealis beads. So you can see they pick up the whole rainbow of colors on here as they sparkle. And oh, N. Murphy for the ring. Thank you, N. Murphy. And we'll go going once, going twice. And the ring is sold to N. Murphy. Thank you. So this stretchy band, Aurora Borealis plastic, Aurora Borealis beads. All right. Then I have a pair of silver tone purple earrings. So they have kind of a lighter purple, two light purple rhinestones on top. And then the teardrop shape. The post is right at the top. And you can see the back is open. So it's going to let the light shine through. And thank you, Amy. Amy is in for three. It's a nice shape to those. And we will count those down for Amy. Going once, going twice. And sold to Amy. Thank you. Okay, I have some single shakers. I have two of them. Um, look at this awesome chicken. Now, this is a really big single shaker. Here's the bottom. No cork in it. Um, but this one is three inches by three inches by about two and a half inches. So this is a really big shaker. And fun to add to a little kitchen, kitchen, um, chicken display. And down here, oh, there is a little chip. Oh, I did not see that. You know what? Since there is a chip, um, let's do this one. Let's just do this one for a dollar. All right. And oh, <laughs> I will do that, Mary Ellen. Let me write that down. And very nice, Mary Ellen. All right. So this one does have a chip. I did not notice that. It does have some crazing. So $1. $1 for the chicken with the little chick down here. So $1. All right. I'll bring that one back for the speed round. Uh, this one is going to be $3, and it is from Colombia. So a really pretty painted one. This one must be the salt. Just have the single shaker. Oh, Mary Ellen is going to take the chicken for a dollar. Thank you, Mary Ellen. So this one is a single shaker from Columbia. It does have a cork. Pretty design. And it is um, well, about three and three quarter inches tall. So just the single $3 from Columbia. All right, then I have a hinge box. Hummingbird on the hinge box. 
This one is just the um, documentation that comes with this. It didn't really say much on it. So really pretty little hummingbirds and flowers on the hinge box. And it's a good sized one. And of course, it's a teapot. Uh, let's see, three and a quarters tall, four inches wide, and that's $3. All right, we are, oh, hi, Jan. Jan is going to take the hummingbird. Thank you, Jan. Going once, going twice. And sold to Jan. Thank you. Uh, let's see. We are going up to $4 starts. And I have got some. Uh, these are stone rings. Um, however, the first one is not turquoise. It is colored to be turquoise. And it is a size six and a half, but it is adjustable. So size six and a half. And this is a stone, but that is a colored stone to ha be um, to have it look like turquoise. Size six and a half, but it is adjustable. Okay, next ring is also adjustable, and it is also a six and a half, and this is a black stone. I'm not sure if it's onyx or obsidian. I can't tell the difference between those. I, I can barely tell the difference between the couple that I can actually remember, so either an onyx or obsidian. It's a size six and a half, but it is adjustable. Okay, the next one is, oh, that one's just a six and a quarter. And it is a tiger's eye. So it is an adjustable ring. It is at a six and a quarter. And that one is the beautiful tiger's eye. Hi, Linda. So six and a quarter on that one, but it is adjustable. And let's see. Oh, this one's even smaller. Okay, this one is a five and a half. Five and a half. It's a pretty white stone, but it is adjustable. And Lucinda, I'll just make sure it's for the white one. If it was for the tiger's eye, just let me know. But this one has a really pretty setting. And it is a five and a half, but it is adjustable. And we will count that down for Lucinda. Going once for the tiger's eye. All right, Lucinda. Thank you. So the tiger's eye is going once, going twice, and sold to Lucinda. And the white one that is a five and a half is still available. Okay, then I have a gold tone ring. And this is a seven and three quarters. So gold tone, seven and three quarters. And 
and you have a center green three little greens on each side and then a nice little band of clear so i'll show it this way also so this one is a seven and three quarters Okay, then I have a little purple one. And Jan is in for the green ring. Thank you, Jan. So going once, going twice, and the green ring. Nope. Come on. There we go. The green ring is sold to Jan. Thank you. Now this one is seven and a quarter. So seven and one quarter. And it is a, I guess that's a purple. It's got a really pretty little um, side clear. So seven and a quarter on this one. And it is a gold tone. And Randy is in for this one. Thank you, Randy. I don't know why, but when I see the shape around here, I think of like the um, the Snow White Evil Queen, the mirror, like the frame of the mirror. I don't know why. It kind of has like a fairy tale look to it. It kind of reminds me of something like that. Uh, we'll count that down for Randy. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Randy. Thank you. Okay. Um, I've got a couple of pairs of earrings. Now, these earrings are going to come with a metal back and a plastic back. And these ones are beautiful pink. And then they've got these clear rhinestones on the bottom. Now the post is very high up. So when you wear these, that um, little bit's going to go right below your earlobe. And so here are the pair. Beautiful pink. Don't know air. I'll do it like that. You can kind of see a little bit. So those are four dollars for the pink. And then I have a pair of light blue. Are they glass? I do think that they are glass. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that they're plastic. No, I think they're glass. And then I have that in blue. Um, well, hang on, hang on. I think we're going back to the pink ones. They'll give me one sec here because I think Lucinda, Barb, and Amy for the pink ones. You probably saw the blue ones. Um, but I believe you guys are putting in offers on the pink ones. So I've got Barb. Nope. I've got Amy at eight. Thank you, Lucinda. So they are a nice size. You're definitely going to have them be noticed. And Barb is at nine. And yeah, they have a really nice sparkle to them. And Amy is at 10.
And Barb is out. Thank you. And we will count these down for Amy. We're going once, going twice. And sold to Amy. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Barb. Thank you, Lucinda. And we will go back to the $4 start. And I've got a light blue pair. And Amy is in for the light blue pair. Now they are open in the back, so they're going to let in lots of light. And oh, we've got Amy at five. Oh, that's nice, Gina. Very nice. And Randy is at seven. Amy is at eight. And Randy is at nine. Amy at 10. <laughs> and Randy is out. Thank you. Yes, that honey glaze is really nice. And we will count those down for Amy. Going once, going twice. And sold to Amy. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Randy. All right. I have some stone bracelets next. Oops. Let me put that down there for a sec. And they are going to start at $4. And up first is probably a rose quartz. So it is just kind of stone chips all around on a stretchy band. But this one is the nice light pink rose quartz. And that one is $4. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. All right. Now, next, I'm going to show that from, from people who know more about jewelry and stones than I do, but this is the, um, oh gosh, um, Howlets. This is the Howlets. And from what I understand, they take the howlets and then they color it. And that is how you end up with the kind of turquoise looking ones. Thank you, Jan. I've got you for the, the pink one. And um, so next up is going to be the turquoise colored probably howlets turquoise colored but you still get to enjoy the beautiful turquoise color and so that one is four dollars i'll kind of move it around so you can see all of the different stones so that one is the turquoise color 
And then next one is the Howlets, which is a kind of white with that fun marbling col colors to it. And so Jan is in for the Howlets, the, um, I think, the, yeah, the white for Jan. Thank you. And the turquoise color for Barb. Thank you. And then I have a tiger's eye. So, hi, Derek. Yes, happy Easter to you. And happy Good Friday. So, this one, $4. And this is the Tiger's Eye. And Randy is in for the Tiger's Eye. But yeah, you get all those nice colors. And Barb is in also, but we've got Randy first for the tiger's eye. And oh, Barb is at six. Thank you, Barb. And we'll see if Randy would like to come in at seven or higher. And Randy is at seven. <laughs> he had to find he had to find the emojis real quick. <laughs> Very good, Tiger's eye, Randy. Very good. <laughs> and we'll see if Barb would like to come in at eight or higher. And Barb is at eight. I know you guys are making my stomach growl with all this talk about honey baked ham and pies and Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Randy is out. Thank you, Randy. And we will count that down for Barb. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Barb. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. All right, this one is a, oops, $4 start. <laughs> oh, uh, this one is a plastic bead, uh, but it does have one little like disco ball on it but this is the aurora borealis beads in pla in a purple plastic on a stretchy band and i'll show you how that looks on and it's got the one one fun disco ball on it but look at how that thing sparkles oh that is so pretty and we've got Barb in for four. Yeah, that's got a really nice sparkle to it. And we will count that down for Barb. Going once. Going twice. And <laughs> sold to Barb. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Sweet brown butter cashews. That sounds good. That sounds really good. <laughs> and your ice, your iced tea just isn't doing it for you. Yeah. Yeah. I I got the water going. Mm. 
that's going to tide me over for this morning. All right, another bracelet. This is a stone bracelet. I am not sure what kind of a stone this is. It's kind of a pink and brownish, like dark brown. And it does have a little stone cross on it. So it is a nice stretchy band, but really pretty with the pink. And um, it's a very, very dark brown. It might be some kind of a Jasper because I think Jaspers come in like every color, don't they? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and thank you, Randy. We've got Randy in for this one. And we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Randy. Yeah, I can always pass on anything with shrimp on it. <laughs> that does nothing for me. <laughs> but you enjoy. <laughs> uh, next up, I have this mini bead. These are stones, but they are a very small bead. It is a really pretty little colorful variety of stones. And I'll show how that one looks on. So a little bit of color to go with just about every outfit. <laughs> wow. Now that's, that's some Southern food right there. <laughs> That is some serious Southern food. And we've got Amy in for four. I see Randy popped in also. And oh, we've got Randy for five. Amy at seven. Yeah, this is a really cute one with these little petite stone beads. And really, really nice color variety. Thank you, Randy. And we'll count that down for Amy. Going once, going twice. And sold to Amy. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Randy. Hello, Kim. Uh, let's see. Oh, next up is a necklace. This is going to start at $4. Oops, start. $4. Let me get a measurement on this. Uh, this is a plastic Aurora Borealis bead. And let me see. If these are plastic also, they might be, uh, but it has little butterflies mixed in with the Aurora Borealis beads. So let's see. So we have a blue, a clear, a kind of a purple, pink, uh, like a champagne color a green uh ooh i'm not sure what color that is blue maybe maybe blue oh that's a definitely a blue and then this one is an aurora borealis and then a red and so the way that the butterflies and the beads work they come down and then here is the middle part uh, the necklace is, 
ooh, about a 20 inch necklace, but you can make it a little shorter. So probably 18 to 20 inches on the necklace. Hi, Joyce. And oh, let me get my, that highlighted there. <laughs> so $4. Now this is at the longest right here. That's the longest. And you can see the butterfly and the butterfly. And then they are scattered throughout along with the Aurora Borealis beads. So it all has that pretty rainbow sparkle to it. And then there are bigger beads in with the butterflies. All right, we'll bring that one back. And then for $4, I have, let me see if this one is reactive. Oh, okay. So this one is a resin, kind of a resin cross. Now the resin on here is black light reactive. So I think you can see that there is a bit of a glow to the resin. And it does have little sparkles in the resin. <coughs> this is a silver tone and it is on a uh, 18 inch chain. So that can go a little smaller. So probably 16 to 18 inches for the black light reactive resin cross. So let's see. So this is about at its longest and then it can go shorter. So depending on your neckline, And that one is $4 for the cross. Okay. Uh, we are going up to, and so Lucinda is going to take the cross. All right. Thank you, Lucinda. So going once, going twice. And sold to Lucinda. Thank you. All right. I've got a few $5 items. And we're going to start off with a silver tone ring. This is a size 7 ring. It has this beautiful green that almost, it's almost like an aqua color green. You can see there's a bit of blue in that green. Um, really pretty setting with lots of clear rhinestones all around. And that sits up pretty high. Uh, that is a size seven. Oops, I did not write that down there. A size seven. So I'll show you on the sides. All of this is done in clear rhinestones on each side. And then the band across here also has clear rhinestones on it. So kind of an aqua color. And that one is a size seven and it is $5. Then I have a rose, rose gold tone. And, oh, Randy is in for the green ring. Because I haven't shown this one yet. So we'll count that down for Randy. Going once, going twice. And sold to Randy. Thank you. Now this one is a seven and three quarters rose gold. And it has a beautiful champagne color in the center. So seven and three quarters on this one. 
And you can see it is surrounded by beautiful, clear rhinestones and that lovely champagne color. <laughs> and Randy is in for this one. Thank you, Randy. It's very pretty how this color really matches the rose gold very nicely. It's a gorgeous setting. And we will count that down for Randy going once, going twice. And sold to Randy. Thank you. Okay, I have some over here. Uh, some stone bracelets that have beads. Uh, this one is a pink stone bracelet. Again, don't know what kind of a stone this is. That's a little advanced in my in my education so far. <laughs> but it is beautiful. And you can see that there are kind of multiple colors in here because this is actual stone. And Randy is in for the pink stone bracelet. Thank you, Randy. And we will count that down. Nope, Cindy is in at six. Thank you, Cindy. But it's so pretty how you get all that natural color variation in the pink. And we'll see, yep, Randy is in at seven. Thank you, Randy. Cindy at eight. <clears throat> and we'll see if Randy is coming in at nine or higher. Randy is out. Thank you, Randy. And we will count that down for Cindy. Going once, going twice, and sold to Cindy. Thank you. Okay, next one that is going to have a $5 start. It is also stones. Not sure what this stone is. I have not learned this stone yet. But it is really pretty, multicolored, uh, light blue, even a bit into the greenish tones. But you can see there's a lot of multicolors going on with this one. You can see it kind of goes from a blue to a green. A little bit of red in here. And Amy is in. Thank you, Amy. And so when you're wearing it, yeah, you get all those nice natural colors happening. And, <coughs> excuse me, Amy is at seven. Randy is at eight. Amy is at 10.
and we'll see what Randy is going to do. Randy is out. Thank you, Randy. And we'll count that down for Amy. Going once, going twice. And sold to Amy. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, next up, uh, this is also going to have a $5 start. It is stones. It's purple stones. And if I'm remembering correctly, this is a Druzy. So it's got this one, one piece on it. And then the rest of these are a really Really pretty purple. Uh, lots of color variations in here. These ones are lighter purple. And a couple down here are a little lighter. And we've got Randy in. And then you have that really cool Druzy. That, oops, that's the back. There's the front. It's very sparkly. And Barb is in for six. And Randy is at seven. <laughs> I know. Talk about being far away from everybody. I sure am. <laughs> Barb is out. Thank you, Barb. And oops. There. We will count that down for Randy. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Randy. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Barb. Okay, I've got another one kind of in that same style. This one is in a, oh gosh, like a dark gray blue. So we've got this beautiful grayish blue. And then this also has a druzy, like a druzy bar on it. So when you wear this, it's going to kind of look like this on your wrist. But this one is kind of a dark grayish blue with that very sparkly druzy section. <laughs> Measure the druzy section. <laughs> that is one and a half inches by uh, almost half an inch. So one and a half by almost half an inch. All right. We'll let you think about that one. We'll come back to that. <coughs> and I have a vintage four strand. I thought it was three strand, but it's actually four strands. And this is going to start at uh, $5.00. And I'll show you, so they're connected up here and there are pink beads, some clear beads, some cool little black spacers. And when you wear this, it's gonna be tight. 
these necklaces, yeah, they were built to like strangle people. That's for sure. You really are going to need a, um, like need an extender or redo the, the clasp on this one. Cause this is, this is about where it's at. So it kind of goes up the neck. Um, but if you are a, a, you know, jewelry maker, you want to restring this. Um, you know, I didn't see one, but let me double check that. Oh, you know, it does. It's just so hard to read. Um, it does say Germany on it. Let me see if I can get it to show. In this light, it's a little better because there's just some some wear on it, but that does say Germany on it. But yeah, that is hard to read. And especially if I wasn't under these bright, bright lights, it would be really hard to find. So that one, $5. And that is marked Germany. But yeah, if you're a jewelry maker and want to just add a few more um, beads to there so that you can have it be a little more comfortable, that would definitely work. Um, all right. Oh, Randy is in for that one. And oh, and Lucinda jumped in also. And Randy is at seven. Lucinda is at eight. Randy is at nine. Lucinda at 10. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I'll whisper it next time. <laughs> Randy is at 11. And you can see they are just offset a little bit so that there is a little tiered um, tearing to them as they go up. Yeah, right here you can see they each have an extra bead. So that one has two, that has three, four, and five just to kind of offset them a little bit. Thank you, Lucinda. And oops. And we will count that down for Randy. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Randy. Thank you. All right. Oh, nope, this way. Um, all right, so it is time for the speed round. Uh, so just a reminder, um, I will be back on my channel tonight for the Sue Spezio show with Aaron Proctor and Mary from Ancestral Beginnings. Uh, that is going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central, 5 Mountain, 4 Pacific, <laughs> and then Saturday night for my late night sale. Uh, that is going to be with Kathy Picasso Cat. And that is going to start at 11 a no, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, 9 Central, 8 Mountain, and 7 Pacific. All right. Uh, let's see. I had uh, I had one free item that is still available. 
Now, this is a little wooden house. It is painted. It does have a little damage on the top. Don't know where it's from, but it is a really cute little wood painted house. Uh, this is free. If you have a box, I'm uh, going to start a box uh, with me. I'll just add this to it. Uh, it is, uh, let's just type in uh, number two. Number two for the free wood house. And if nobody claims it, that's okay. I will bring it back for another sale. Okay, up next is this little ring. It has a pretty little pattern in the band. It is like a solid band ring. It is a size five, one dollar, number four, and it is a size five. Now, this ring, you can wear it showing the opening here, or you can turn that around and not show it. Almost like a little herringbone design in here. Uh, this ring is uh, size six. Size six on this one, and it is one dollar number five. One dollar number five, size six. This ring has a little bit of a diamond pattern and a clear rhinestone in the center. This is a size six, and it is one dollar number six. Size six, one dollar number six. Uh, this has a black center. This is a size six. And it is one dollar number seven, size six, one dollar number seven. Uh, this pair of earrings, kind of little heart shaped knots. Uh, this is one dollar number nine for the earrings, one dollar number nine. Or as Randy thinks, they look like pretzels. <laughs> the oval earrings. Kind of a filigree design in there. Uh, these are $1 number 10. $1 number 10. Uh, this ring is a size seven. It has little openings on it and a pink heart. And oh, I've got Jan in first for number 10. Thank you, Jan. Uh, let's see, this ring, size seven, little pink heart, size seven, and this is $2, number 15. Uh, this ring is a size five. It is a little smaller. Five really pretty red rhinestones on it. It is a size five. It is $2, number 18. Uh, these are gold tone earrings. They have a pretty uh, clear rhinestone flowers and some pearl bead accents. Uh, they only come with the little plastic backs, no metal backs on these. Uh, these are $2, number 20. The This is glass with a metal hanger. And it says, a daughter's love uh, lives in your heart forever. It is about a four by four inch. 
Uh, thank you, Jan. I've got you for the earrings. The wall uh, hanging is uh, $2, number 24. So that's $2, number 24. I'll hold it back here so you can see. And it is a nice piece of glass. Mm. Uh, the ceramic egg cup. This one is $2, number 25. $2, number 25. And it, I think, doesn't that say something about it being hand, hand painted or something like that? All right. The heart shaped trinket box with the floral design. And oh, thank you, Randy. I've got you for number 15. Uh, this is uh, $2, number 26. $2, number 26. All right. And then I have a bunch of uh, cherished teddies. We've got the little Cupid. This one is, oh, Randy for 26. Thank you, Randy. Move that for a sec. Uh, this one is $2, number 28. $2, number 28. This one with the bow and arrow. He is $2, number 29. This one has some little love letters. And this is $2, number 30. This one has roses. $2, number 31. A 1996 Little Soldier, $2, number 32. The Little Angel, this is $2, number 33. The Little Dutch with the little wooden shoes. Uh, $2, number 34, with the panda and little bamboo pajamas, and hi, Donna, number 33 for Donna, thank you. Uh, let's see, the little panda, $2, number 35. The Baking Bear, $2, number 36. And Donna is taking 35. Thank you, Donna. Uh, the one with the bear. And, oh, Barb is taking the baking one. Thank you, Barb. Uh, all right. Oh, yes. The little doll, cute little bonnet. Uh, this is $2, number 37. And then the one with the reindeer. This one is $2, number 38. And Randy is taking 34. Thank you, Randy. And Barb is taking 37. Thank you, Barb. 
And I see Jan in first for number 38. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> I am not going to complain about anybody being out of control. <laughs> Uh, the bracelet. Uh, this is a plastic Aurora Borealis bead bracelet. This is $3, number 45. And you can see it picks up all the pretty rainbow colors. Uh, so that one is $3, number 45. A single salt shaker from Columbia. Beautifully hand painted. It does have the stopper on the bottom. It does say it's from Columbia. And this is $3, number 48. All right. Now these are real stone rings, but this one, I think that one might be the, um, the a dyed howlets to look turquoise. This ring is a size six and a half, but it is adjustable. It is $4 number 50. So size six and a half adjustable $4 number 50. This one, I don't know if it's onyx or obsidian. It is a size six and a half, but it is adjustable. And it is $4, number 51. Size six and a half, $4, number 51. Um, oops, forgot to circle that one. Okay, and then this one. Not sure what stone that is. It is white. This is a size five and a half, but it is adjustable and it is four dollars, number 53. And then I have the necklace, the Aurora Borealis necklace. And this one has butterflies. It is a, I think it's a 18 to 20 inch necklace. And this is $4, number 65. And I think that is it. All right, so that is everything. So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I hope to see you tonight for the Sue Spezio show. But everybody have a wonderful Good Friday and um, a great Easter weekend. And I will be seeing you in the chats. So thank you, everyone. And uh, yeah, have a great day.